Hold your horses, everyone. We're about to embark on a journey of discovery, where we'll be revealing the top 10 things you should never do when visiting the historic, majestic city of London. Prepare yourselves as we arm you with the knowledge to navigate the city like a local, not a clueless tourist. So, are you ready? On your marks, get set, let's immerse ourselves into the heart of one of the world's most popular tourist destinations. Start the countdown, ladies and gentlemen, because we're about to serve up some tantalizing tidbits of advice that could potentially save your trip from disaster. At number 10 on our list, we've got a typical tourist trap that many unsuspecting visitors fall for. Picture this scenario. You've just touched down in the glorious city of London, your feet are tired and weary from your travels, and you spot a charming, brightly colored rickshaw. It's quirky, it's fun, it's intriguing, and it seems like an ideal way to traverse around the hustle and bustle of London's vibrant streets. But wait just a moment. Before you hastily jump aboard, let us give you a word of caution. These seemingly harmless rickshaws are not always as innocent as they appear to be. Unregulated, often exorbitantly overpriced, they could empty your wallet at the speed of light, or faster than a whirlwind shopping spree at the renowned Harrods department store. Unless you wish to kick off your London adventure by bidding a sad farewell to your hard-earned money, it would be a wise decision to give these colorful rickshaws a miss. And now, without wasting any more of your time, let us progress to number 9. This might initially seem a bit unusual, but believe us when we tell you it's a genuine time and energy saver. If you happen to find yourself in the vicinity of Leicester Square with an urge to visit Covent Garden, resist the almost instinctive temptation to hop onto the tube. Yes, that's correct. This happens to be one of the shortest distances between two tube stations in the entire city. So, why not save yourself some time, soak in the scenery and take a leisurely stroll instead? And speaking of saving money at number 8, another tip for you, never, I repeat, never play cup games on Westminster Bridge. You might think it's magic, but folks, it's a scam. Ah, the infamous cup games. They may appear like an innocent bit of fun, a seemingly harmless game of chance, a test of your keen observational skills. But let me tell you, it's all just an elaborate illusion, smoke and mirrors to deceive you. The operators of these games are incredibly adept at sleight of hand and can skillfully manipulate the game to ensure that you never win. And while you're engrossed, completely captivated watching the cups, your pockets might be getting lighter without you even realizing it. So the best piece of advice, keep your money securely in your wallet and enjoy the stunning, breathtaking views from Westminster Bridge instead. Visiting a new city is always an exciting adventure, but it's essential to stay savvy and street smart. London is generally a safe city, renowned for its safety and security, but like any major metropolis, it has its share of opportunists looking to make quick buck. Stay safe, stay vigilant, and keep your eyes wide open, folks. On to number seven. At number seven, we have a golden rule for escalator etiquette. Don't stand on the left side, that's the fast lane. This might seem somewhat peculiar to some, especially those unacquainted with the nuanced, unwritten codes of conduct that effortlessly govern the rhythm and pace of large metropolises. In London, these codes hold a special significance, subtly but firmly maintaining the decorum of a city that never truly sleeps. You may find yourself contemplating the reason behind this seemingly odd rule. As it turns out, it's about more than just convenience. It's about the unspoken social contract that keeps the city's pulse steady and its flow smooth. This is particularly true when we talk about the tube, a bustling matrix of commuters where etiquette and efficiency intertwine. The escalators are where this dance of manners and movement is most perceptible. The left side is exclusively reserved for those on a tight schedule, city dwellers racing against the clock to reach their next stop. Hence, it is imperative to keep this lane clear for the hurried souls among us. On the other hand, the right side is for those who wish to enjoy a more relaxed journey, unhurriedly ascending or descending, taking in the sights and sounds of the city. Be mindful and avoid attracting the ire of a Londoner already late for an important meeting. Next, at number six, we delve into the topic of the Thames. It's an iconic sight, especially when it sparkles invitingly under the radiant summer sun. But no matter how appealing it may seem, resist the urge to immerse yourself its depths. It's not akin to a refreshing dip in a spa pool, the water quality is often, shall we say, suboptimal, and it is not deemed safe for swimming. Hence, it would be prudent to keep your swimwear tucked away until you reach the comfort of your hotel pool or one of London's resplendent lidos. Moving on, we arrive at number 5, Always Bring an Umbrella. 
the capriciousness of British weather is akin to the unpredictability of a nail-biting reality show. One minute, the sky is a clear, glorious blue, and the next, it's a torrential downpour. Don't allow yourself to be deceived by an unclouded morning sky. A sudden rainstorm is never too far off. Believe me, there's little that compares to the discomfort of being caught off guard in an unexpected shower without an umbrella. So, be prepared. Arm yourself with a brawly and remain ever ready for whatever the unpredictable British weather might throw your way. It's better to be safe than sorry, and more importantly, it's better to stay dry. But before we move on, here's a little nudge for you. If you're enjoying our countdown of things not to do in London, why not hit that subscribe button? And if we've missed any London faux pas, let us know in the comments. We're all in this together, sharing our tips to make your London visit the best it can be. Stay tuned for the next part of our countdown. At number 4 we say, never leave your plans to the last minute. Book popular attractions in advance or risk missing out on some serious fun. Now, we're not implying you have to schedule every moment of your London sojourn. We merely suggest that when it comes to London's must-see attractions, efficiency and foresight can be your best friends. Take for example the emblematic London Eye. This iconic Ferris wheel on the south bank of the River Thames attracts enormous crowds, and missing out on this mesmerizing view can be quite a disappointment. Consider too, the historic Tower of London. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is not just a captivating showcase of history, but also home to the crown jewels. Imagine how gut-wrenching it would be to stand outside the gates, unable to witness the royal splendor within, because you didn't book your tickets in advance. And then, there's the enchanting Harry Potter Studio Tour. Any fan would tell you it's a magical journey you wouldn't want to miss. These places get filled up quicker than you can hail a London cab during a rainstorm. There's no room for procrastination. So, avoid the disappointment and pre-book your tickets pronto. Shifting gears to number 3, never be late. Being punctual is embedded deep into the British ethos. But let me tell you, London's transport has a reputation for being as stubborn as a mule. Buses, trains, tubes, they all have their unique ways of keeping you on your toes. London's transport network can be unpredictable. Whether it's a bottleneck on the district line or gridlock on Oxford Street, always factor in buffer time to your journey. Imagine missing the iconic changing of the guard because you're stuck in a tunnel under the Thames. Not quite the London experience you'd want, would you? So leave a little early and stay ahead of schedule. Coming to number two, unattended bags, big no-no. Regardless of whether it's a potential security threat or an open invitation for thieves, leaving your bag unattended in London is a strict no-go. Not only do you risk losing your valuables, but an unattended bag can also spark a security alert, causing unwarranted panic and unnecessary evacuations. Keep your bag in sight at all times, and rest assured, your London experience will remain a delight. And finally, at number one, circumvent large puddles unless you fancy a splash of English weather on your clothes. It's common knowledge that London's weather can be unpredictable. And while we all enjoy a good splash in a puddle, London's puddles are known for their deceptive depth. One moment you're leaping over a small puddle, the next you're knee-deep in a mini Lake Thames. Unless you relish navigating the city streets with a waterlogged sock, it's best to steer clear of those puddles. And that sets the curtain on our top four things to avoid in London. Remember, being prepared is half the battle, so keep these tips in mind on your upcoming expedition to the Big Smoke. Thanks for tuning in and cheerio until our next rendezvous.